Colton here for Modern Robotics. I'm going to show you how you can assemble Anderson power poles onto a cable using a soldering iron. I have a third hand here, and I think that's pretty critical for this process. We have 10 foot lengths of cable, which you can cut down to any uh, length you need to fit the run of cable on your robot. And we also have packs of 10 power pole pairs. I'm going to start by splitting the wire in half. I'm going to do that about the length of my tool, which is a little bit over an inch. I'm going to tear about a little bit more. I'm going to strip the wire. I'm going to strip the wire to that same length of the barrel here so I can just eyeball that for a little bit longer and actually be good. And I'm going to make sure that they are uh, both strip the same amount. That looks pretty good. It's a little bit longer than the barrel of contact. I'm going to twist those together so they're easier to insert into that contact. And then I'm going to set the wire in my third hand uh, with the red wire coming out on the right, and that's because the red contact always goes on the right, and then this contact goes in there this way, so just like that. So I'm going to make sure when I line this in my tool, the red wire will be on the right side. I'm going to line this so that I can hold the contact in place. That way the orientation will be correct. Just like that, I should be able to get to the front of that contact where the hole is. I'm going to take my soldering iron and some solder. I'm going to heat up the contact from the middle. Uh, that way I know it's heated all the way throughout. And then I will insert the solder through the hole in the front. So here I'm going to try to put minimal solder on the outside of the contact because I don't want that to um, get in the way of putting it into the housing. And then I'm going to insert solder into that hole in the front Try and get right in that hole so that I don't um, get any globs on the outside of the housing. If you see solder coming out the back of the contact, you know you put in enough and you can stop right there. So that one is beautiful. And this is hot, so you may want to wait a minute before you touch it. Even this alligator clip here is going to be hot, so I'm going to be very mindful of that. Um, I'll take the other one, the other contact. Slip that one on. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Perfect. And again, let this cool. The cool thing about solder is it's not going to loosen up over time like the contact could. Uh, so you know you have a really solid connection as long as it is uh, melting the solder well and the solder is wicking up into that copper. Now once this is cooled down enough, so I'm not going to burn my hands, uh, I can take that off and then line the contact like this. I'm going to push the two wires together a little bit so they're the same spacing as the housings. I'm going to line them up and you can feel them kind of wiggle in. They're going to snap into place because those contacts need to be horizontal going into the housing so they line up with a hole in there. So I'm going to wiggle them around until they kind of snap into place and then instead of just pushing them in with the wire, um, I'm not going to do that because it could bend the wire very close to the contact and that doesn't look good. It kind of shortens the length or the, the life of this cable. So I'm going to take a small flathead screwdriver, I'm going to push on the contact, I'm going to push each one of these one at a time into the housing. Perfect. And I heard a snap on both of them which is wonderful. On these housings there's a metal blade that comes out like this. The contact should be going over that metal blade and that's uh, over the metal blade and that's what keeps them in. So you can give that a good pull and make sure neither one of them is coming out. That's where you can assemble Anderson power poles using solder and a soldering iron. Check out all of our other products at modernroboticsinc.com.